A manhunt has begun for inmates who escaped from Sierra Leone's facilities on Sunday following attacks by gunmen on a military armed raid Freetown. As reactions also begin to trail that singular incident, the attacks triggered armed clashes which prompted a national curfew amid ongoing security operations. Although normalcy has slowly returned to Freetown amid heightened security following a partial curfew lift, President Julius Madabayo has reassured citizens of restored calm and vowed accountability for the instigators. Yet questions linger about the motives and culprits behind the violence, some of whom have been arrested. We're not happy, and especially given what we have gone through. Anyone who has seen what happened would not wish for it to happen again. This is not our dream. What we need is prayer. The things that are not good, God will avert them. Leadership is from God. And this really affects us, the poor. I sell perishable goods, and I really ran at a loss yesterday. We woke up to the sound of gunshots, and we got scared and panicked. We stayed at home, we couldn't do anything. Even up until this morning, we were still in panic, and business is down. I'm a businesswoman and I received a stock of my goods yesterday. And then when the unexpected curfew was imposed, nobody could go out, no food to eat, not water to drink. So I was shocked and I am not happy about what happened yesterday. So I hope God will take on we now turn to Sierra Leonean-based journalist and African affairs analyst Fritong Lawrence to give us an update on the event in the West African country. Good to have you join us uh, today on Arise News. Welcome to Newsday. Uh, can you give us an update on exactly what it's like on ground right now? Well, the situation remains fluid as much as um, there seems to be some kind of relative quiet and peace in the country. Um, about 15 minutes ago, we heard gunshots around uh, Moritown, where um, one of the fortified army barracks is also based. And um, reports coming in suggest that um, the government security forces were pursuing um, two of those who are on the wanted list for Sunday's incident and that um, their resistance to surrender to the authorities led to a bit of um, exchange between the government security forces and um, the assailants, as government calls them. And uh, But the situation apparently has returned to normal, but it does care the hell out of People at um, businesses, shops, even school going children were running helter skelter. And um, the situation has actually returned to normalcy now. On a broader look of things, um, the general security situation in the country, of course, um, there is um, heavy deployment of government security forces across the country, particularly the capital city, which is the seat of power. And in addition to that, um, the government has put in the stringent measures and uh, there is already a curfew in place um, between 9 p.m. local time and 6 a.m. in the morning. Um, businesses and shops for the large part remain closed um, due to some panic and then of course um, despite assurances of the government um, for people to go about their normal businesses yet um, the atmosphere is still um, engulfed in panic and fear. Well, we know that the president said that most of the leaders behind the attack have been arrested, but do we know who they are and what the motive of the attack could be? Well, sadly, the government has been very much cautious in terms of what information they are releasing to the public. Uh, the president, indeed, in his address, um, say that most of the ring leaders of the attack have been apprehended. However, um, they are still um, on a manhunt for those remnants who they believe are still hiding within slum communities and other areas. Um, the military spokesperson had engaged the media 
um, in the local media um, in saying that um, some of those involved were actually um, retired and some are active serving personnel of both the military and the police forces. Um, just today we saw um, a list of wanted individuals who are believed to be fugitives and are wanted by the government security forces in connection with the incident on Sunday. Um, the government as well will be having a press conference at 2 p.m. local time, and that is about uh, 45 minutes from now, um, to give the public more updates on what is happening and uh, the government's position as regards whether this was indeed an attempted coup or just an attack on the military base. But overall, we saw the a high power delegation from ECOWAS and of course the, the Federal Republic of Nigeria, who just in yesterday in solidarity with the government and the people of Sierra Leone, they engaged the president and of course condemned the whole incident and had promised that uh, whatever it will take, whatever support is needed by the government of Sierra Leone to address the situation once and for all, they stand ready to provide such. Among those who were part of the delegation, uh, uh, the Nigeria Chief of Defense Staff, General Mustafa Christopher Muta, and uh, of course the Defense Military Intelligence Major General Emmanuel Udian Deji, I hope I pronounced that one correctly, and uh, and um, officer officials from the ECOWAS Commission. Well, finally, I'm wondering what's the reaction of the All People's Congress, you know, to this attack, considering the fact that it was only last month that an agreement was signed with the government to end the boycott. The leader of the opposition, All People's Congress Party, Dr. Samura Kamara, um, tweeted in the early hours of Sunday, um, condemning the whole incident and, of course, um, urging the government to take the necessary steps to address the situation. Um, the former president of um, the Republic of Sierra Leone, Dr. Anis Baikoma, also tweeted late Sunday, um, calling or describing the incident as grave security breaches. And um, he also expressed concerns regarding what he called killing of one of his state security guard who was on duty. And those allegations are yet to be uh, um, um, commented on by the government authorities. Uh, we do not know for sure what were the circumstances surrounding the death of um, the said security personnel who was assigned to the former president and was stationed at his pre-term residence while the former president is actually um, residing in McKinney at the moment. And um, generally, the situation has brought back what I would refer to as very scary and frightening images of um, the civil war we had between 1991 and 2002. As much as um, the government is assuring the public about their safety and security, yet fear and panic persist in the atmosphere. Wow. Well, we thank you for this update, uh, Freetown uh, Lawrence, uh, live from uh, Freetown. Thank you for joining us. Yeah.